marking the second point on the chin and tip of the nose. Measuring the relaxed rest position. The back of the pillow of the patient. The measurement is taken using the scale while the upper lip is relaxed. This procedure should be repeated one to two times to achieve an accurate measurement result. This is then used to determine the wax wall height. The Maxella template fabricated in the laboratory is placed in the mouth and checked to ensure it fits properly. The occlusal and campers level are checked using a bite fork and, if necessary, corrected using the rim former. The offset edge of the rim former is placed against the tuber tapers. The rim former is pressed forwards against the wax wall. This melts the entire wax wall parallel to the desired height. If the vertical height, as well as the parallelism between the camper level and the bipupillary line match, no further modifications should be made to the maxillary wax wall. The mandible template fabricated in the laboratory is placed in the mouth and checked to ensure it fits properly. Here, the wax wall height should match up with the equator of the tongue. Check the position of the wax wall templates with respect to each other. Check the vertical height. It should be two to three millimeters lower than the relaxed rest position. Drawing the center line on the maxilla. Using these measurements, we recommend making a temporary articulation of the model. The mandible registration plate is fixed to the occlusal level. Notches are made in the wax wall to aid keying. The maxilla registration plate is immersed in the wax wall until the registration pin is positioned parallel to the occlusal level. Reduce the wax wall and create the notches to help with keying. Place the registration template in the mouth of the patient. Only the registration pin and registration template may touch each other during the registration procedure. While sitting in the upright position, the patient is instructed to move his mandible as far to the left as possible and then back to the center while the pin and registration plate are touching. This procedure is also repeated on the right side two to three times. The patient is then asked to move his mandible to the front and back. This exercise is to prepare the patient for the actual bite registration procedure. Using the marker provided, generously blacken the mandibular registration plate. The templates are then put in, and following the dentist's instructions, the patient traces the angle by laterally moving the anterior and posterior mandible. Crosshair symbol drawn on the tip of the arrow, centric. To check the Gothic arch, the entire plate, except for the crosshairs, is blacked again, and the entire bite registration procedure is repeated. If the second Gothic arch is also positioned exactly on the crosshairs, the plexiglass plate can be placed in the position of the tip of the arrow fixed into place 
using the screw and washer. The opening and closing movements make it possible to check the mouth and see whether the tip of the arrow snaps into the hole of the plexiglass plate. If this is the case, the position is cemented using registration silicone or impression plaster.